right, they seem to be moving in that direction. Bluefin tuna have rarely been filmed before. You know, there's a, there's a handful of shots around because, you know, they live way out here in the open ocean. They're very hard to find, very sort of shy in a, in a way. Um, and also they're, they're highly endangered now. So, so there are very few images of bluefin tuna in the wild. In terms of a working environment, the open ocean is as tough as it gets. I mean, normally, we rely on two good days a month to get a sequence. So, <clears throat> 28 days at sea, nothing. Two days, and the sequence is done. And, and those two days might come down to two 20-minute interactions with our subject. For me, they're special because they're just so big. You know, like, you know, seeing an 800-pound tuna swim past you in the ocean is just a truly incredible experience. There must have been great shoals of bluefin tuna patrolling all the great oceans, um, and now they're down to just you know a handful, you know, five percent of the original amount. We've fished them to the brink of extinction, and what needs to change is someone needs to manage them properly. You know, in the, in the UN or whatever, needs to grapple with the situation and, and manage it. Otherwise, everybody loses. You know, we don't have bluefin tuna for the wild, and we don't get to eat bluefin tuna.